In my opinion, the biggest issue that is facing our nation right now is access to education. Now, uh, many of our students do have access to for-profit schools or even not-for-profit schools, but the problem is the debt burden that they undergo, uh, it, it can be crippling. I, I know people from uh, my alma mater, Awashaw Baptist University, who graduated with 30, 40, even 50,000 in debt. Today, that number is on average as much as $70,000. And I don't know about you, but to me, it seems like that is a ball and chain that's going to prevent people from overcoming the challenges in their life and make them a lot more vulnerable when emergencies happen. You know, it, it could be a natural disaster. It could be another, uh, another outbreak of a disease. You know, it, these types of things happen. I mean, something as simple as getting into a minor car accident. These types of things come along frequently. And when you have, in some cases, people are paying 1000 or even $2,000 a month on their student loans. Now, fortunately for many people, these loans have been paused during COVID, but uh, it, it, we haven't fixed the problem. People are still able to get student loans and people still need to get student loans because of the expense of their education. Now, I have come up with a plan that would allow, with only a minor increase in the amount of Pell Grants, for us to put at parity the amount that people can get from Pell Grants and the amount that uh, is on average given for a person's education from K through 12. So from K through 12, on average, cost between seven and $8,000 to educate that student. Now, um, of course, there are other costs that are involved, including food and housing that come into with the college experience. In my opinion, somewhere around 10,000 would be about the right amount for the Pell Grant. Uh, I'm looking for input on that, but what I see is uh, if we set a set amount, which would increase with inflation, so for example, set it at 10,000 and then adjust it for inflation as the years go by, uh, make it so that that amount of money is enough to be able to go to school for one year. And if the states provide addition, great. Hopefully that increases the ability of the student to uh, purchase what they need and to get housing. Um, but to me, there's no reason that we should be spending three, four, or even 10 times as much each year per student as we spend in K through 12. So that is my proposal for one of many ways that I would like to fix education. And I hope to hear from you about your thoughts on the matter. Thank you.